Most Texas cities have so far avoided the kind of massive problems that seems every day to threaten the virtual extinction of urban centers like New York City. Nonetheless, many of the same problems New York has felt are felt here in the state of Texas, and the solution seems at times almost as difficult. Many of the people charged with finding solutions to the problems of Texas cities are meeting here in Dallas this week. Nearly 3,000 members of the Texas Municipal League are holding a session on how to prevent cities from going the way of the dinosaur and the dodo bird. The Texas Municipal League members will view exhibits of products used by the cities. They'll also attend numerous meetings on legislation, air pollution, and other city problems. Chairman of the Texas Municipal League is Judson Williams, mayor of El Paso. What do you think primarily is needed to solve the problems of Texas cities? Well, it's hard to get away from money because these are problems with, with city, city governments. And my personal feelings are that Texas cities should not have to come crawling to the Texas legislature for right to manage and control their own affairs. And I think we ought to have all tax areas open to us based on what our citizens are willing to uh, tax themselves for the services they want. And this is one. Of course, we have others uh, in terms of, of air pollution. We need to do more than we've done, and we intend to. We intend to take responsibility with the state for this. Same thing is true of our circulation and roads within the cities as well as between the cities. Uh, many, many of these areas we, we think we can do something about effectively. Mayor Williams, some people have gone so far to, as to suggest that the problems of the modern city may not really be solvable. Do you think so? No, I don't agree with that. I think possibly in some of the older cities in the East, uh, while they're not insoluble, they can't be solved just by the cities or perhaps even the state legislatures. I think New York City is a prime example. It's, it has to have the broadest assistance from the federal government. But when we get into tech our problems, I don't share the belief at all that uh, Texas cities are failures. I think they're successes. One of the outgrowths of this week's session here in Dallas may be new state legislation to help some Texas cities solve their problems. This is Doug Terry, Channel 8 News. In a short time, the election judges who use punch card voting machines in their precincts will be bringing in their ballots. They will be counted in the hallway. They will be passed through a sheriff's guard to ensure tight security on this computer room, which is the Dallas County Computer Center. They will be run through this machine, which I'm going through over here. This machine will count the votes, count each individual race. As it counts them, they will come out the slots down here. As they're being counted, this memory bank machine here will verify according to the memory that is in this machine. As it verifies, it will then be printed out by precincts on this machine. After each precinct count out, they will be taken on down to the county clerk's office for re-verification. And then you, our viewers, will know the results. Here at the Dallas County Data Computer Center, Carl Mayo reporting.